Okay, Kevin. The next question would be sometimes asked pretty much very often, especially if you have a job experience before. So that question is, why did you leave the previous job? So if I get asked by the HR why I left, it could be because of bad experience in the previous job. It could be some simply I want another opportunity. So how should I and how can I articulate my answer in this type of session, uh, question? Right. So if you're leaving voluntarily, as in you resigned, okay, then this is the assumption here, then I would suggest whatever the underlying reason is, if the underlying reason is about people, is about uh, conduct, it's about personality, uh, I really wouldn't bring it up because is a very difficult situation to reflect well on you if you ever bring it up. The reason is nobody knows the entire truth. And I have seen enough and heard enough that that guy's always right. <laughs> That's why he left. Okay. But I know in practical experience, it takes two to have an argument. So there is normally not just one right party. There's an intertwining of uh, causes and consequences that lead to that position uh, to, be, to, be, to occur in a moment in time. So I would review. So this is, again, something that you prepare before you go to the interview because it's too late to, on the fly, come up with something intelligent to say. Uh, I would focus more on uh, either something about your career aspirations, okay? meaning are you learning enough? Uh, does the job growth path fits in with your aspiration? Okay, uh, It might be about salaries. Okay, And in that case, it has to be a very uh, justified case, meaning that you are severely under market and that you have the evidence of what the market is, okay? But then again, you know, if that is the case, you have to then explain, well, what did your manager say when you asked for an increase if you're that under market? Then you have to prepare to explain, well, it's not because of my performance. So again, you know, all of this needs to be prepared and it needs to be explained in an unemotional way. The minute emotion catches up with you, in the answer is very likely that I think that there is more there's more to the story than what this person is telling me. Okay. Obviously it's not being settled yet because it still triggers your emotion. Okay. Um, avoid talking about people. Avoid talking about your ex-bosses, ex-colleagues. It never ends well. It just becomes a very immature bickery uh, of, uh, of of social conversations and you know perceptions even though it may be true uh, but you're leaving this job for a new pasture and you want to start well here so be aware that if I am the new employer what kind of employee do I want okay do I want an employee that goes yep 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 and so next time when you leave my company, I become the next victim when you go, yep, 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 right? Talk about all the things that you experience here because there's no company is perfect, right? So um, so I would say focus on your own experience, your own learning path, your own career aspirations, uh, whatever they might be, whether it be money, um, growth, uh, learning, uh, job nature, uh, focus on those things and tell me why this company right now doesn't provide those to you and that it never will okay and why my company right now provide you this that your previous company doesn't so this is really critical right what is it so so special about me this company and this industry that answers all your questions from your previous company in which you left for those reasons now if you have not figured out a good answer 
don't go to the interview because they will ask you that question. So Kevin, what you mentioned, answer the question on the assumption that I quit voluntarily, right? So right. what about the other side of the question that could be the case? Let's say I get fired by the boss, I get fired by the company for whatever reason. So in that case, how should I answer the question? Okay, so you should bring up the circumstances and status of the way that you were terminated. Because if you don't bring it up and I hired you, almost every company that I know that is, you know, sizable and reputable has their own HR department and has their own uh, due diligence process of the person we, we're hiring. And one of the due diligence process is they will outsource to a third party to do a background check on every single employee that is being hired. And those background check involves not limiting to sending a questionnaire or a, a confirmation letter to your previous employers or employer, depending on how far back they want to go, uh, just to ask them to provide, provide any relevant information about this employee while he's in your employment. Okay, uh, some of them are fairly general. Some of them are very specific. Um, and they'll ask something like, okay, well, at the very minimum, you need to confirm if I'm the prior company. I need to confirm this guy. Yes, he worked for us during this time and that time. And this was the role he was performing by the time he was, you know, not working for us. If you are terminated, most companies will say this person was terminated. They may not say the cause of termination, but they'll say that person is terminated. Now, if this get back to the HR department and HR department get back to the line manager who interviewed you and you didn't tell the line manager during the interview, you're going to get a very you know, serious question from the manager saying that, Francis, why didn't you tell me? And what happened, right? And it is never a good ending because there will be very little circumstances for you to justify not telling him. Because number one, you know, it's not as if you didn't know you didn't get fired, right? Uh, number two, you were given all this time between the first interview to now to tell me all this and you didn't. So the only explanation is that you're trying to deceive me. You're trying to uh, not let me know something that is important uh, that I should know, okay? So your credibility takes a hit and most likely you may not get hired as a result, okay? So assuming that you did tell them and you were terminated, you need to be prepared to talk about circumstances that you were terminated in quite an honest way. Unless you sign a confidentiality agreement with a company, what you cannot say, which sometimes could happen, you know, in, in, the, in, in the financial industry, but also in other industry, right? But tell them all the things that you can in layman language, okay? Sometimes it could be a, a company policy that you have breached, okay? You may not tell them the specific circumstance, but you can tell them maybe the rationale of why you did what you did, okay? Now, it's going to be uncomfortable because you'll get challenged. And I may not hire you, which is true, but it is a consequence that you have to accept because you got terminated, okay? If you think the company who did it to you terminated you unfairly, my question is, did you do anything to seek justice? Did you write back to the company complaining about it? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Or did you hire a, or did you at least speak to a legal expert to, to, to consult your legal position on this? Right. Uh, and, and then, you know, you may or may not pursue a law case because it's expensive and, you know, all of that stuff. But I need to know what you've done if you think that you've been unfairly treated. Because if you've done nothing, then I'm thinking that the company's right. 
you're not, you're not saying anything, you're not doing anything. So I'm just going to go by the uh, evidence. So, and the termination may or may not matter to me as a new employer, but if it was serious enough for a reputable employer to terminate you, chances are it probably will matter to me too. Okay. Now, not absolutely. So sometimes, uh, let's say uh, a famous trader uh, who got fired by a bank or from a hedge fund uh, will get picked up by another bank or a hedge fund despite that termination. Well, because in the marketplace, they kind of know what happened. And, you know, if that person do not perceive that as a risk, yeah, he might get hired again. But I think, so first of all, be honest, be straightforward uh, and be transparent about things that you can say, okay? And then explain who you are and why this is unlikely to happen again. Um, maybe it was a genuine uh, inadvertent mistake that you've now learned the lesson of, which is fine. And it's, okay, you carry the risk of not being hired, but you have to tell the truth. Uh, or you think there's something unjust, in which case, show me what you've done to 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 demonstrate your uh, your your voice that you want to be heard. Okay, uh, but yeah, for those circumstances, um, it's a tricky one to handle. But I think honesty is still your best policy because it will catch up with you. Uh, don't hide it. But most of the time, right? Uh, in my experience. Most company would offer the employee the option to resign rather than be terminated because they know, you know, okay, I'm going to fire you, but I don't want to make an enemy out of you. I don't want any unnecessary law case. So why don't you just resign and just go? Okay. So in that case, then they'll say, then they'll say, yeah, I left because of this reason, that reason or another, and nobody would need to know. Right. So normally a termination only happens if that person commit on something that is under regulation a problematic and they have disclosed it to the regulator and they have no other choice except to terminate them because it's in public record. So, yeah. I think uh, another more common case of getting terminated would be simply get laid off, right? So if the company- right. Go Maybe through redundant. downsizing. Yeah, they have to lay off a number of employees. Then that reason would be easier to communicate to the new employer, right? 